it up, family. You already know it's your boy G. Dotizzy. Back with another VZ. I said I'm back with another ba 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 Bang it at me, Get it? But y'all already know what's going on, man. It's your boy G. Dot back at it with another crazy ass reaction for you boys and girls today. Now, look, man. All right, first of all, I want to start off by saying RP PMB Rock. Real nigga, ain't gonna lie. My ex girlfriend used to listen to him all the time. You feel me? He got some good ass songs. Ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. He got some raw ass songs. Raw ass songs. Seemed like a real nigga. Never met him, so I can't really tell you. But it seemed like a real nigga. Seemed like a real thoroughbred nigga. I just want to react to this to show everybody like <laughs> happened real fast and how you can avoid these situations. Cause like you feel me? Everybody saying that it was random and people ran up on him. It doesn't seem like it was too random. So I just want everybody like to see what. The Happen and get a real nigga perspective on things, but I ain't gonna slander nobody in the video. You feel me? Just want to say this again RP PNB rock folk because that <laughs> was bogus. That's bogus as hell. Like, you called a nigga while I was eating with his girl and his daughter, bro. That's bogus. But you already know what's going on before we get into that video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Guaboy G. Dot, and Twitter, Guaboy G. Dot. All the links from my social media are gonna be in the description below, including for my gaming channel because you already know what's going on with that. Really, face shot. Selling crack and doing cops the worst way in RP, man. Y'all already know what's going on with that GTA RP, man. If you're interested in the team, the real nigga do real things, go ahead and hit that link in the description right now because it's going down, 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 nigga. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. And definitely don't forget to check out my Patreon if you want to see them five reactions a week for my highest tier and three reactions a week for my lowest tier with my goddamn special monthly giveaways coming every month. You definitely don't want to miss those. So go ahead and check that out right now, man. I'm making y'all laugh five times a week. I'm giving y'all the links to the videos and I'm doing giveaways monthly, man. What more do you want from a player? Go ahead and hit that link in the description right now so you can go ahead and laugh your ass off every day. It is. But that's enough for that, man. It's time to go ahead and get into this video, man. Let's see what the hell happened. Let's see what the real story is behind why PNB in this situation happened. Like, once again, RIP. But let's see what happened. My nigga. Yo, look what I'm on love with. The one and only, fool. <laughs> this nigga still talking <laughs> Hey, bro, you frying or something, bro? What you smoke? I'm smoking some coke. You still want to mix my name and shit, bro. You good, bro? Man, I came to check up on you. He wanna be my man so bad, but I ain't gonna lie, folks. I ain't gonna lie. It seemed like these niggas is into it for whatever reason, or PNB ain't really folks up top for whatever reason. Whether that's some streets, some internet. Shit. Whatever's going on, you feel me? It doesn't seem like PNB is really a fan of the nigga up top. Now, you don't gotta be cool with a nigga. I ain't saying you gotta squash your beef, be cool with nigga, you know, whatever, you feel me? I ain't saying you gotta do that. All I'ma say is, you can't actively be talking shit to niggas and kind of antagonizing and impressing niggas because you don't know what niggas gonna do at the end of the day, you feel me? Because, like, let's be for real. You can tell a nigga he a weirdo and call him a nigga on the internet, but you don't know what type of energy he finna come with off the internet, fo. And niggas be doing some weird shit. Ain't gonna lie to you, niggas really be doing some weird shit. And you kind of don't know what niggas is capable of until the situation kind of, you know, it flip already. So, you, you really shouldn't be talking niggas on the internet, especially not on live, because you kind of embarrassing the nigga that you talking about. And that's the one thing that you don't want to do, y'all. You don't want to embarrass no nigga that you talking to, because once you embarrass a nigga and you take his pride away, that nigga's liable to do anything. You feel me? So, try to avoid talking to niggas on the internet, please. We're not gay, bro. We'll never be tight, man. What I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, folks. That nigga up top a little too calm for my liking, too. He's just a little too calm. Like, he a little too calm to be on here talking. PNB Rock. I ain't finna act like PNB Rock was like a, like, you feel me? He was low key a household name, you feel me? I ain't saying he was like little baby level right now, but that nigga was a household name and like people know who he is. When you talking to a famous and he don't really get no about getting clowned and all that shit, bro, it's kinda like, 
You feel me? And then you saying you pulled up on a nigga in real life was kind of like, y'all got some tension, some real beef. And the last thing you should be doing with a nigga that you kind of got real beef and real smoke with in real life is talk crazy on the internet. Cause you, you don't know who this nigga know. Especially if you from out here. I think that nigga from out here, bro. If that nigga's from LA, you really shouldn't be talking shit to no. Like, I'm not gonna talk to no nigga in Miami if I'm not from Miami and he's from Miami. And I just moved to Miami. That's not really like, you feel what I'm saying? That's like coming to Chicago talking crazy to niggas, but you really from Houston. You don't know. You don't know niggas. You don't know what niggas on. And you don't even know like the first thing or who to go to, bro. That's not really like the best situation to put yourself in, you know? And when you came here, what? What party? What the f was it? That's, the, that's what you niggas want to know. Nigga, when I pulled up, nigga, you was, you was quiet for like four days, nigga. Hey, yo, I don't see this goofy ass nigga, bro. Get this man all the clout. He want all y'all on my live right now. Get this man some clout, bro. He just reached. He want to be big pan being so bad, you hear me? Nigga, I just take your shit off your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> yo, I'm dead over this big you hear me? Who's the count? Where you at? I ain't gonna lie, folks. That was a threat. That, that that was a direct threat. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if he took that serious or he took that like a nigga was not playing with him, folks. But like, you can't be out here trying to clown niggas and like all this other shit, bro, because niggas ain't really just finna sit here. This is grown ass man. At the end of the day, this is a grown ass man talking to another grown ass man, and niggas ain't going for none of that shit. Now I'm not saying PNB went out like a lame or nothing or like you feel me. I'm just saying niggas ain't going for none of that shit. Like if a nigga disrespect me, I'm just not going for that shit. You feel me? So you gotta think about the situations you putting yourself in when you do certain shit. The nigga, you can already tell the nigga a lame. You can already tell the nigga like really not like that. Even if he is like that, you not the one that ran up on PNB. So it's like, sometimes you gotta leave shit alone, bro, because you really just don't know who a nigga know, you don't know what a nigga into, folks. He might not look like all that, but he might be the big blood or something, or the big crip or something, and, you know, shit happen. Shit happen for real, in real life. I mean, hey, man, get put me, uh, get lost. That's so why you got, why you trying to put your glasses on? You really trying to be me, bro. You see it? Look at this nigga, man. <laughs> this nigga is the big. This is a character. You about seven for real, bro. You like 40. Boy, the nigga, I'm going to go ahead and take it. Oh, oh they back? Yeah, they back. All right, man. I'm not real. You in LA? You know, you see it on I'm in Atlanta, bro. It's cold, bro. Hey. Just breaking that shit. Yeah. There's some people There's some people that in the city that need to get out of here, you know. Tell them to pull up, man. Where you at? In Atlanta. Where? Fuck, nigga, just tell him to come to the A, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I'm in the You ain't never in the pen. Oh, I ain't know that. We gonna call you back. Too we stupid? Gonna, we don't got time for that negative energy. All right, look, I'm gonna hit you on the one-on-one, -on -one, so I'm gonna see you pull up with this. I'm not gonna do this shit, nigga. All right, bro. It's just a <laughs> You hear me? <laughs> Best. I'm gonna make you eat that. That nigga's a now that could have been a reason why all this shit happened. That very much so could have been a reason why all this shit happened. That could have been like, you know, just another offset of like why shit went down like that, why everything happened so fast, like you feel me? This is why, even though it ain't 100% his girl fault for why that shit happened, it's like 90% her fault, like 95% her fault still because you was in the car and you seen he was into it with niggas from LA. And then you still gonna post your location that you can pop up and like you see exactly where he at after he just got done arguing calling niggas shit on live. Niggas saying they gonna come for his chain. Niggas saying they gonna make him eat them words. And that ain't the only nigga he probably got problems and beef with. So yeah, this live explains a lot and brings a lot more clarity to the situation. But at the same time, baby girl, that's your fault. And you need to like handle that however you gonna handle that because you shouldn't have posted his location. That was bogus, but this definitely adds some more clarity to why uh, that situation happened probably the way it did. And I just want everybody to know you shouldn't be talking shit to niggas on Instagram Live, bro. If you're going to do that, leave that shit in the streets. You shouldn't really be talking shit to no nigga over social media, period. Leave that shit in the streets. Because when you don't live shit in the streets, shit like this happen. And, 
you know? Uh, I just want everybody to be safe because this shit kind of crazy. Like I said, R.P. P.M.B. Rockfo, he was a real nigga from what I saw. And he made some very good music, I ain't gonna lie to you. So uh, I just want everybody to be safe. Whether you an entertainer, doctor, lawyer, regular nigga on the street, you feel me? Trapper, scammer, whatever you got going on, man. Just watch how you talk to people, what you say to people, and just really watch how you moving because anything can happen at any time and I don't, I don't want to see nothing happen to nobody. Stay dangerous at all times, y'all, because this shit's real out here. Like, it's, it's really real out here, for real, man. Like, shit crazy.